Today we're going to put together a truss for our bridge project and helping me today is going to be Thor. He's going to be my extra set of hands. If I were doing this all by myself, I would probably get a piece of cardboard, heavy corrugated cardboard and some pins or thumbtack. You'll see that we've already prepared, this is on brown wrapping paper, an outline showing our different major components. And we know that compression is going to be great right here and at the end posts because this is where it's going to contact the abutments. Across the bottom cords, we're going to have a lot of tension. You'll notice that we've got our pieces laid out that we've made. We've got them labeled so we know where they go. For example, this says bottom end. I know it's going to go there. This is part of the top. This is part of the top. In fact, this is where we're going to start. You'll notice I've got two pieces here for the top and they're longer than what the top is going to be and that's because these are going to telescope together. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of glue on the end there. We're going to rub that, rub that. Now this end is going to telescope inside this. I made it so it would just slip inside there. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to start sliding that. And Thor, I want you just to hold your finger there at the end. And I'm going to push against you. We're going to make this slide in until it's the proper length. And we're getting close. And are you lined up pretty good down there, Thor? Mm. I need to go just a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Looks to me like maybe we need to go just a tad more. And that's perfect. Okay. <clears throat> now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach our end posts. These are the pieces that go there. And we're going to do a little cutting and trimming. You'll notice I made those extra long for where they're going to be and that's because I'm going to do some cutting here. At the corners, these have to make a bend Cut that like that, and then this way I can have this piece go like that and make a bend, and I can glue all that. I'm going to make that just a little bit more of a joint, so I'm going to cut this down a little bit further. I'm going to cut this down a little bit further. Remember, I've got it plenty long, so I can do that. And now we're going to put glue on these tabs. And make our joint right there. We'll get that at the proper angle so that it matches up. And Thor, would you come down and hold that then? Make sure you hold the, the glue tabs. Okay. Okay, next we're going to put in these two bottom end pieces that are going to go right there and right there. And the reason why we're putting these in as three-dimensional pieces is because there's going to be a lot of compression here where we uh, come in contact with the bridge abutment. And you'll notice I still haven't trimmed this off. Well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this back all the way back to where this joint's going to be. I'm going to cut this back on this 
and on this. Now I want to cut back as far as that joint, and I need to cut back just a little bit further. back a little bit further. Now I've got that cut back. I'm going to insert this bottom cord, or yes, this bottom cord piece into there and I'm going to put glue on all that. So I'm going to have Thor come down. I'm not going to worry about trimming this yet. And we're going to put glue on this glue tab all the way along there I'm going to squish that down make sure that we're all the way in tight and Thor I want you to hold that just like that okay and hold that like that and looks like we're coming along just about right I want to check in case before that glue sets up, we may have to come down just a little bit more. While the glue's still wet, it's okay. Hold that. Just a little bit high there. Cut that back just a tad further. Because I don't want to be off by even a few millimeters here. Gluey end. Goes in here all the way. Now we'll double check. Looks pretty good. So one hand here holding that tab and these fingers holding that one. I'm going to repeat the same process down at this end. You can shut it off. Oh, okay. Now to finish up these joints, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim out the excess side pieces here. So I'm going to trim that. And I'll do the same thing with the excess piece on the bottom. put glue on this tab and I will bend that back around the bottom and make sure that all lines up all lines up and I'll have Thor hold that I might come back put a little bit of glue on that later but now Thor's going to hold that part and I'll repeat the same thing down at this end. You can stop running now, that tab then. Okay, now you'll notice that I've got marks here, 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 and here. That's where these five posts are going to go. And I've already trimmed their gluing tabs out. So I'm going to bend those out because this is how they're going to join up up at the top. And we'll put glue on those. 
and join them at the top. And let me put this one right in the center. And the tab goes on each side and on the bottom. And I'll have a tab here on my mark and glue it down okay now all of these are in place now these last two verticals are what are called hip verticals because they come in where this angle's got to be made here and because of that I'm going to trim glue tabs off the other end on them instead of having them hang straight down like these these will have to have glue tabs also these are the hip verticals this is going to give me a real strong joint and make this end of the bridge where the compression is the greatest the strongest part of the bridge So this hip vertical is going to come in here, has to come in here, and all those tabs are going to go into place like that. Okay, Thor, if you want to hold those, hold that joint right there. Here. And I'll do this, yep, and I'll do the same thing. In fact, if you want to, you can hold a little bit together here to see that it needs to come up just a little bit. There you go. Kind of keep an eye on the lines. I'll do the same thing down at the other end. And we'll slide this hit vertical in on its marks. Thing to come together at this joint. That's probably ideal if you'd let that glue all dry, but we're going to complete this through. Now, these pieces, good tension, get a hold of the end of there. Pull. Pull. Good tension. We're going to have tension across the bottom here. So what we're going to do is we're going to line these up with the marks and glue them at each of these. And this will complete our bottom cord. And you might say, well gosh, that looks kind of flimsy. But it'll be just fine because the force is tension. Now the key that we want here is we're going to line these up with the marks that we put previously and that keeps us from having to remeasure. There's going to be an overlap here and so I've already put glue on that side and I remember doing that now. I push this over to the mark, get it in place and get this back in place, it's coming apart. Now when this side dries, I'll turn that over and I'll put these two on the other side. But first this, this part has to dry. But you can already see our, our uh, truss is taking shape. These I'll glue in similarly, and these, once this is dried up, are going to be my diagonal bracing to help offset the shear, and then it'll be easy to glue those into place like that, and that will complete one truss. You need to build two trusses.